A Busy Man and His Bible The late George Mueller thus testifies concerning the reading of the Bible. The vigor of our spiritual life will be in exact proportion to the place held by the Word in our life and thoughts. I can solemnly state this from the experience of 54 years. Though engaged in the ministry of the Word, I neglected for four years the consecutive reading of the Bible. I was a babe in knowledge and in grace. I made no progress because I neglected God's own appointed means for nourishing the divine life, but I was led to see that the Holy Spirit is the instructor and the Word the medium by which He teaches. Spending three hours on my knees, I made such progress that I learned more in those three hours than in years before. In July 1829 I began this plan of reading from the Old and New Testaments. I have read since then the Bible through 100 times, and each time with increasing delight. When I begin it afresh it always seems like a new book. I cannot tell how great has been the blessing from consecutive diligent daily study. I look upon it as a lost day when I have not had a good time over the Word of God. Friends often say to me, Oh, I have so much to do, so many people to see, I cannot find time for scripture study. There are not many who have had more to do than I have had. For more than half a century, I have never known one day when I had not more business than I could get through. As a pastor of a church with 1,200 believers, great has been my care and besides these, the charge of five immense orphanages, a vast work. And also my publishing depot, the printing and circulating of millions of tracts and books. But I have always made it a rule, never to begin work till I have had a good season with God, and then I throw myself with all my heart into His work for the day with only a few minutes interval for prayer.